So I started writing the takeaway for the third round of the BMW Championships and a good, bad, unusual broke out. It's one of the most popular segments we do here on PGATour.com, but it only comes at you once every five weeks. That is until this special edition from Denver. Let's start with the good. Earlier in the week, Chris Stroud nearly aced the par 3 12th where you win a beautiful BMW. And on Saturday, it almost belonged to Jerry Kelly. Almost. He did manage to hole out though later in the round. Take a look at this beauty on 15 and the even better reaction. Jerry Kelly don't need no stinking putter. And now to the unusual. Our defending FedEx Cup champion got off to a hot start on Saturday, burning his first three holes of the day, but then found some problems in the form of a tree. Stenson is known for his quick wit, so the Swede found humor in this, as did the gallery once they recovered from seeing their lives flash before their eyes. And then we have the bad, really bad. Rory McIlroy suffered his first triple bogey since last year at this same event on the 12th hole, by four putting inside four feet. It doesn't matter how many times you watch this, it doesn't get any less painful. And we'll stick with McElroy where things just did not get easier for world number one. He found himself in trouble on the 15th where he would settle for bogey and then some fans stepped in to see how they would play the shot. All right, I can't leave you on a Saturday night with bad vibes. McElroy did make this 60 foot bomb on the fourth. And Billy Horschel put together an impressive bogey-free round, including three long birdies from outside 20 feet to take the lead by three heading into Sunday, including this beauty on 18. That's in. Great putt. Billy Horschel, 63. The low round of the day, though, goes to Morgan Hoffman, a great story in the playoffs. He began 124th at the Barclays and has played his way into the field each week after that. Hoffman, though, will need a big push to work his way inside the top 30 that advance to Eastlake next week. And just to cap off this crazy day, two players that will definitely not be advancing to the Tour Championship by Coca-Cola are Phil Mickelson and Keegan Bradley, both WD'd on Saturday morning. So if you missed the broadcast, I promise you, I got you all caught up here on Saturday night. Remember to tune in to Trending on Tour on PGATour.com Monday.